what we've seen the last couple of days, Bill, is that Bernie Sanders is not just focusing on early primary voting states like Iowa and New Hampshire. Instead, he's coming to places like Pennsylvania and arguing that the president who won here in 2016 has not followed through on some of the commitments that he made then. The biggest lie that he told the people of Pennsylvania and the people of Vermont and people all across this country, the biggest lie was that he was going to stand up for working families and take on the establishment. Within the next several hours, we expect Senator Sanders to do something he didn't do back in 2016, publicly release his tax returns, which will receive special scrutiny now that we know the Democratic Socialist senator who regularly rails against the influence of millionaires and billionaires is a millionaire himself, a fortune he says he earned writing a best-selling book. Right now, Sanders is the leader of declared candidates in primary polls, and he likes to remind primary voters that a lot of the things he talked about in 2016 that were considered too extreme then, like Medicare for All, are now part of the Democratic mainstream and have been adopted and borrowed by some other primary contenders. Bill. Who's asking the questions tonight, Peter? There's going to be about 500 people from the area, from the Bethlehem area. And if the questions, uh, excuse me, if the questions tonight are anything like the questions uh, or the concerns that we heard from voters over the last several days, he's going to hear a lot about health care. Health insurance. Health insurance is one. a big one, yep. Yes. And what is the concern about health insurance? Well, Affordability. health insurance for everybody. I currently do not have health insurance, and it's very hard to get access to the resources that I need. The health care that that we're getting is not enough to provide the health care that you need to get healthier, to get back to work and get off the system. Before Senator Sanders gets here, he's got an event with nurses in Pennsylvania, and that wraps up a weekend of campaigning in Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania.